I really love dealing with our next guests because uh, you, you know we can we can shoot it straight. Probably the best way of looking at it. We're talking about naturopathic medicine, and we've got the people here from Holistic Healing over on King George, and we welcome Dr. Uh, Mary Lee Albano and uh, my friend of the show, Dr. Ankar Singh. Thanks for coming in today. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much for having us. Yeah, wh now, what I say about the fact that I love being able to talk straight is, you know. Ankar, you've been here before. We don't do a lot of tap dancing, and so we'll introduce Mary Lee to this. When I think naturopathic medicine, unfortunately Seinfeld caused you guys a lot of problems with the natural <laughs> healer, it comes across as so much voodoo, and here you are, heck of a lot younger than I am, and how long have you been a doctor in naturopathic medicine? I'm in my second year of practice. Okay. What mm -hmm. attracted you to it? Uh, to be honest, the holistic perspective of it. So um, treating the whole person, really looking at mind-body connection, and uh, the preventative focus. Th those are the main things, I'd say. Yeah, you and I have talked about it before, and we got into the fact when it comes to naturopathic medicine, I guess it was a line from a TV show, I always remember. If you treat a disease, no, it's from a movie. You treat a disease, you win or lose. You treat a person, you always win. Definitely, mm -hmm. and I think that's the essence of being a naturopathic doctor and mm -hmm. why I think a lot of us feel passionate about what we do is, you know, Ted, making that connection with people um, on, on many different levels and, and then being able to make an impact in their lives. Spinal Health Week underway, we had, uh, we had a, a member of the fraternity in yesterday, and Dr. Sandy Kune, and he was talking about how the spine affects so much what's going on. When you're dealing with somebody for the first time, mm -hmm. do you run into those situations, Mary Lee, where you discover that, uh, oh, that ailment really has got nothing to do with that. It's really got something to do with this. Most definitely, because once you start asking questions, really getting a sense of their overall health, both physically, mentally, um, then there are a lot of other things that start to come up. And, you, and what we really try to do is find that root cause. And so that symptom might really be um, just the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. Yeah, you talked about the mental aspect of it. And I'm, I'm going to make a generality here and see if I can not get myself in trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, generally, I think whenever we hear somebody saying that, you know, emotionally there's something bothering them and there's kind of a physical response, mm -hmm. it sounds like the traditional answer is pop a pill. I, is that what you're challenging? Uh, sometimes it can be. And... Um, because sometimes there is a stigma attached with mental health and going in that direction. Um, but really exploring, I find, and, and we have that time to do that with our patients, is explore what they might be feeling and thinking, and then how does that connect to their body and really getting them to be in tune and in touch with, with what they're feeling, both emotionally and physically. Yeah, and it's funny because I use mental health on card. I, I guess what I wanted to kind of stress was emotional health because I think that's sometimes where what somebody is feeling more than any kind of mental situation, uh, maybe something they're feeling inside. How do you get to that point where you get an understanding of somebody you're dealing with? Well, number one, fundamentally, you have to be a good listener. Um, and I think as Dr. Albano was mentioning, because we have that opportunity and that time, essentially, Ted, people want to be heard. Um, they haven't been able to tell their story or they haven't been able to even reflect on um, those moments in their lives when they had the challenges or the stresses and this gives them an opportunity to have that dialogue and often when they're able to voice it, express it in a very safe environment where they feel comfortable, um, it's amazing um, what starts to happen with their health and some of their physical symptoms and they feel more empowered, they feel like they're taking charge and ownership of their health and that's why it, it's it's just plain awesome being a naturopathic doctor uh, <laughs> because we have that um, honor and that, that time to do that. Two years for Dr. Albano, how many for you? 12, 12 now, years. Now, the one thing I was wanted to mention because you know, you got like a rookie sitting next to you, mm -hmm. ongoing training, does that exist within the naturopathic field? Uh, yes, it does. Uh, we, we do every two years have to complete continuing education credits. Um, so we are encouraged to keep up to date with current research and attend lectures, conferences, and there's always courses going if you want to upgrade your skills as well. Well, great. I want you to get comfortable because I want to talk about one of the disciplines you do that shocked me, and, and we're going to talk about what's coming up and special lectures on the way. So Dr. Mary Lee Albano is here, Dr. Ankar Singh, and uh, your humble host. We're going to come back in just a little bit. The cause is keeping you healthier. We're going to do it right here inside Brand.
Hey, welcome back. Naturopathic Medicine Week is being celebrated here uh, in a lot of different locations. One of them on King George Road. It's Holistic Healing. Uh, and you're going to meet these folks if you happen to drop in there. Dr. Mary Lee Albano, Dr. Ankar Singh. Uh, thanks for staying with us. Either one of you can jump on this one because this is what surprised me. I think of holistic healing, and you explained it so well. It's talking to the whole person. It's dealing with the entire situation. But then I find out IV therapy. And that surprised me because I, you know, I don't think in terms, I guess, of an IV being used. Is this relatively new? Um, IV therapy has been around for a while in terms of the naturopathic scope. Uh, again, it's an example of if as an ND you wish to pursue further certification. But in a nutshell, it can be a very um, beneficial treatment for chronic types of things like fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, chronic migraines. Basically, obviously, we're um, administering vitamins and minerals uh, intravenously. So what's the difference? I know IV, is it just that it gets it in there in a hurry, or does it target better? Well, it's going to bypass your GI tract, so it's going to get right into the bloodstream, and then um, the idea is that there's going to be higher absorption of those vitamins and minerals. In a lot of these cases that are chronic, Ted, um, often there's malabsorption issues, um, which is why they're not getting the proper nutrients. Um, it doesn't replace a good diet, a good lifestyle, um, your supplement regime, but in the interim, as a transition, it can be quite beneficial. And then for cancer as well, it can be supportive to their chemo as well. I'd, I'd love to take credit for this, but I'm getting this question from the booth, specifically from our producer, sleep apnea. A lot of people talking about it. Are there naturopathic cures as opposed to maybe the apparatus somebody might have to wear? Uh, definitely supportive in that case, um, helping with sleep apnea and um, understanding some of the causes and again getting to that root cause. So taking a good history and um, you know even some behavioral things and looking at you know is it a sinus issue perhaps that you know could be contributing? Um, is it um, perhaps uh, extra weight on the body and, and that could be contributing as well? So looking at all, all the underlying causes. Well, we're looking at the website right now, and, and this kind of brings us to the point. Naturopathic Medicine Week is being celebrated. You've got a lecture series coming up that's going to be happening out of your location. Have you got spe specific specialties you're each going to be dealing with? Like, is there one of the lectures that we... Dr. Mary Lee Albano? Yes, so I will be speaking on Tuesday afternoon at 12 o'clock, and I'm going to be touching on detoxification. So essentially talking about how our bodies detoxify naturally every day, but what are some things that we can do to support that process? Yeah, no, I, I find that within listening to my own body that there are yeah. times that, you know, detox takes many forms. Mm -hmm. um, how do you get somebody to understand naturally this is something that has to take place? Um, I think just educating them, letting them understand about, you know, what are those organs of detoxification and, and how is it happening in your body every day? And then, you know, educating them further on what are some things they could do naturally to support it. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, in terms of lecture series, what expertise are you going to be providing? Well, I'm going to try to talk about naturopathic approaches to stress management, which is next Thursday. Um, but basically, every day there will be a free lecture to the public, and they're encouraged to obviously come and celebrate Naturopathic Medicine Week. Uh, for more details, you can go to our website or even give the office a call. And basically, I, I, don't be afraid. Is there still a, a bit of suspicion going on within the art, I want to call it? I think people are exploring other options and they're still curious and um, definitely the awareness has very much increased even in the last five to six years um, and there's still skeptics out there so if you have any questions or um, things you need clarified in terms of what is naturopathic medicine it's a great opportunity to come and meet us and and get some of those um, uh, misunderstandings cleared. Now does it make it easier or more challenging the fact that you're both younger? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Um, I think that uh, I think that we really all work well together at our office, and um, and and we welcome everyone. So maybe you're not as young as I think. Maybe you're just incredibly healthy. And you're just <laughs> taking me right out. Listen, wish you all the best with this. And uh, naturopathic medicine week is going to continue. Thanks for the information today. It's been fabulous. Thank you, Ted. Thank you, Ted. Dr. Mary Lee Albano, Dr. Ankar Singh, Holistic Healing on King George, and uh, they've got the lecture series coming up. We're going to talk mental health in specifics. That's next when we return. Thanks for joining us, Inside Brand.